What up, HyperChange? We need to talk about a potential SpaceX IPO and Tesla partnership. I just got back from the shareholder meeting in Austin, Texas, and one of the questions that Elon got, or at least one of the rambles he got started talking about during his presentation was the idea of a SpaceX IPO. Um, and this is something that's been discussed a lot in Tesla and Elon Musk circles. SpaceX, one of the world's arguably, potentially the world's most valuable private company, I think it was about $420 billion officially in its last funding round, but that is with so many people want to buy it that they can't. If SpaceX IPO'd, it would probably be worth at least a trillion dollars right now. Um, the amount of demand for SpaceX is unprecedented. Elon Musk knows this. Um, so why isn't he IPOing SpaceX? They need a bunch of money. Everyone wants to invest. Well, short answer is because it's a pain in the ass. Tesla, his only public company, has dealt with so much scrutiny and BS. Um, as a public company, you have to report way more. Um, you have all these crazy bad actors who can come in and start controlling and manipulating your company. You have to deal with nonstop lawsuits. The press loves to roast any public company. You have short sellers who are financially incentivized to take down your company. So for all of these reasons, and particularly because SpaceX has such a long-term mission, they don't want to IPO. They want to focus on their mission, not get lost in the sauce of quarterly reports and Wall Street BS. So I actually think it's been a super smart move to, for SpaceX not to IPO. Um, it sucks because they can't bring the little investors who believe in them with them. But if you look at it from SpaceX perspective, it makes a ton of sense. But to be honest, I feel like Elon turned a little new leaf in this shareholder meeting. And I don't think there is an answer. Like, does he know if SpaceX will IPO? Does he know when it will happen? Does he know how? Um, I think the answer is no. I think it's like, you know, something that's constantly being thought of and they're trying to figure out. And so originally one of the ideas was let's keep SpaceX private. Let's spin out Starlink because that's actually a cash flow producing business. Use that money to then fund uh, more of the original SpaceX. That was a couple of years ago. We haven't heard any rumors about it. So I don't even know if that's happening. Now, Elon Musk seemed to be basically the way, the way he answered at the end of the day is, I've been giving a lot of thought about how supporters of, of, of SpaceX could, you know, invest in the company and maybe it should be public and maybe the upside of letting everybody invest in SpaceX and everybody invest in going to Mars and the public support that could build is worth the downside and annoyances of being public. So I almost feel like Elon is slowly coming to terms with the idea of SpaceX going public and I'm more, you know, I think it's more likely than ever for that to happen based on his comments. Um, it probably won't happen for years and years, but I thought it was extremely interesting. And he also mentions that he wants to give Tesla investors some sort of way to invest in SpaceX, and that would be super cool. And so the whole time I'm thinking like, oh, Tesla investors are missing out on SpaceX. We all want to invest in SpaceX, but we can't, blah, 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 blah. But then I was listening to the way he's talking about the partnership between Tesla and SpaceX. It sounds like you know, or we all kind of know this, but the first mission to Mars isn't going to be humans. It's going to be Optimus robots. I mean, who builds those? Tesla. He also mentioned that there's potential moon buggy sort of rover thing that could go on the moon or Mars. Who's going to build that? Tesla. So, and, and when I think about the infrastructure of how, you know, things get built in, in space, how much of that is Tesla? So even if, if we never invest in SpaceX, and technically I did invest in SpaceX, I don't even know if I did, you have to buy shares in a secondary market. It's extremely complicated. There's a ton of legal BS and who knows if it's even actually buying the shares. So that's the nightmare you have to deal with if you want to invest in SpaceX. But I think as a Tesla investor, I'm going to benefit because Tesla is going to be the first thing that builds the space economy. I mean, what's more high growth with unlimited potential than space? And if you're the manufacturing company partnering with SpaceX to build sp all of the Mars infrastructure and the moon infrastructure, that's going to be a huge, huge business. So, and there was another even tidbit about how solar powered satellites are going to be a massive thing in the future. Tesla does solar. Elon Musk says Tesla will play a role in that. They've also been talking about data centers in space. I made the video visiting StarCloud who just launched their data center on a SpaceX rocket. Now Elon and SpaceX are saying they will probably operate their own data centers in space. So you know, who might build those? Who's going to put the solar panels on them? Tesla, Tesla, maybe. So I think even if there isn't a direct partnership between your investment from Tesla into SpaceX or from people into SpaceX, Tesla shareholders will benefit because of these partnerships. So that was kind of an eye-opening thing I had of like, I've always thought of Tesla as being this company on earth, making earth spaceships, you know, in a sustainable way. Um, but now I'm, as I think about how the future and 
evolves, I really think Tesla is this robotics AI company that is going to be a key part of expansion into Mars. And that's going to be super exciting. So um, that's that's one thing that got me very pumped. Uh, and, and I feel like Elon's companies, and he even said this in Expo today, are merging closer and closer together. You know, X is the brain and XAI is the brain of Optimus. Optimus is going up on the SpaceX rocket. Um, the Musk economy is really converging here. So um, I'd love to know what y'all think in the comments below on the SpaceX IPO, on the partnership with Tesla. Will it be financially material? You know, how does this all evolve? Um, but I think there's no question about it. Maybe that's why Elon's building a million bots in next year, because he's got to send a lot of them, or at least the best ones, to Mars. So we'd love to know what y'all think. This is HyperChange. See y'all next time. Peace.